we know it is in reality test of international language testing system powered by IDP to access the level of student. My name is Deepak and I am taking the interview of candidate number 075. Okay, Simra, shall we start? Yes, sir. Please introduce yourself. My name is Simra Khan. I recently did my graduation in commerce from AS College and right now I am learning English language in one of the famous institute of math. What is your full name? My name is Simra Khan. How can I help? You can call me by my first name, Simra. Okay, Simra, where are you from? I am from Khanna City, which comes in, which comes in the district of Ghana. Okay. Do you work or study? Right now I am studying. As I said earlier that I am right now learning one of the uh, international language in um, one of the most famous institute of my town. What are the positives of studying instead of working? Well, uh, I would say the positive, if I talk about the positives of study, then it is extremely essential for a person to be educated uh, for doing something, uh, for, for adopting a uh, career for his better future goals or to achieve his targets. So definitely uh, the positives will be considered as, uh, it could be like, well, I would say that a person without education has no value, especially nowadays. But about the uh, past times, about 80 centuries, then maybe it will be okay for the person to be not that much educated. But now it's extremely essential for a person to be educated. Okay. Now let's talk about breaks. How often do you take a break? Break? Uh, break regarding what? Like how often do you take a break from your busy schedule or from your study? Okay. Uh, well, I would say that nobody is a person who works like a machine for all over the time. Everybody needs a break. So do I. I usually take a break. Uh, if I talk about like uh, like if I'm a student, if I talk about my studies, whatever I'm doing, something task like uh, according to my preference, I would like to take break around after two or three hours, or whenever one my task is accomplished, then I'll uh, prefer to take break. Okay. okay. What do you usually do during a break? Well, it depends on person to person uh, what kind of face and preferences he or she has. Uh, well, some uh, some people like to do uh, uh, some people like to eat while doing uh, while during their break, and some people like to use their phones, and some people uh, like to go uh, to take uh, just around to get some kind of refreshment and something like that. So it depends on persons. Why do you need to take a break? Well, as I said earlier, nobody is a, a person who works like a machine all over the day. Everybody needs a break uh, because it gives you a, it's a, that kind of a pause which reboots the person's uh, mind or reboots uh, one person's behavior regarding whatever the task he or she is doing. Do you prefer a long break or several short breaks? Uh, well, I would say that maybe it depends on what kind of work I'm doing. Uh, yeah, I would say yeah. Yes, uh, <laughs> work is um, here. The work is uh, playing a prominent role for what kind of break we are preferring. If uh, if I talk about doing studies, then obviously I'll prefer to take some short breaks. If I do something uh, task related to something domestic household or something like that, then obviously I'll prefer to take some long break. This is the end of part one. Now for the part two, here is your typical topic. You have one minute to prepare this topic. After that, you have to speak for two minutes on this topic. You can also make notes if you want this. Shade something, it could be anything. Yes,
that shading is caring and uh, I would uh, say that shading is uh, very important for somebody to have such kind of quality because it's uh, kind of emotion when somebody has for some other person and so do I have. I remember one of the incidents when I, when I was in college, uh, it was uh, last year of my graduations and the exams were coming near and uh, we all, me and my friends, we all were really tense and stressed about my exams as it was the final examination of my graduations. So uh, there's one of my friends, she was quite close to me and she was not doing well because of some um, family circumstances. She was not able to perform well in her uh, academics. So she came to me and she discussed her pro problem with me and I shared my notes with her to uh, so that she was able to uh, get good marks in the exam, in the final examination. The, so uh, I just, as we were as we were in a really good bond of friendship, so I shared my notes to, and I gave her two notes to take her home or to make uh, or to get uh, the idea that what kind of uh, notes I am making or the techniques what where she can grab to uh, where she can grab the ideas to attain such good marks in the examination. And uh, uh, firstly, as as I said, that exam was coming near, I was a bit stressed because I also have to prepare from that particular notes so but uh, she's a good lady she's a good friend of mine and she's able to manage the time because uh, we just planned a schedule the first two days uh, she'll uh, do she'll learn from that notes and the next two, two days uh, she'll return to me and I'll do the work from that so um, as a result, she got really good marks with the help of my notes and I feel really delighted and I'm really uh, loved and satisfied uh, by the performance that what kind of uh, marks, uh, whatever she get in her marks. Um, and that's the way I shared my notes with uh, one of my friends. Okay. okay, this is the end of part 3. So this is the end of part 2. Now let's move to the part 3 of our speaking. In the part 3, I'm going to talk about some questions on sharing. So shall we start? Yes, please. Okay. What was the last thing you remember you shared with someone? Well, the last thing I remember I shared with someone is a pair of shoes. Uh, uh, it was my neighbor. She was, uh, There was a girl and um, she has to go for the uh, for his cousin's wedding and she was not getting a shoe, a uh, particular kind of shoe for her dress with suits her dress and she came to me and I just it's just coincident that she just saw that pair of shoes of mine and she just suggested okay oh Samra that's kind of pair I need for my dress so I definitely shared because she's a neighbor so that's the way I helped her what is your personal opinion on sharing could you rephrase the statement please what is your personal opinion on sharing uh, well personal opinion on sharing according to my opinion sharing is extremely significant for a person as I said in the beginning of my uh, interview that sharing is caring and it's very important for a person to have such kind of sharing because I feel that a person who has who doesn't have these kinds of quality could be considered as a mean person who only bother about themselves don't care about the other what kind of person so sharing is very essential for one person as it makes you more wiser for the uh, for your uh, for, your, for your personality basis so okay what kind of things are not suitable for sharing what kind of things are not suitable well i would say that um, it depends on what kind of uh, things we are into because there are certain things which are easier more easier to share like I said notes or pair of shoes or something like that but the things which are a bit expensive like if I say money money is a precious thing and it's very sensitive part of uh, individuals nowadays so it's not an easy thing to share with someone so I would say that money that will be a okay. thing okay is technology a hindrance to the virtue of sharing uh, well um, according to my concern, I don't think so that technology is a hindrance to sharing because technology play, technology is a bit different from uh, quality of sharing as, uh, as uh, technology as oh. so could you rephrase the statement? Is technology a hindrance to the virtue of sharing? 
um, I would say no. That uh, because uh, technology is. Uh, <laughs> to answer the question. Do you think we should share our personal things with our friends or with our family members? Personal things. Mm, I would say. Uh, personal things. I mean, it depends. What kind of bond we are sharing with the person? If the if the person is quite close to us, or uh, or it will be a family member or something doesn't like that, then obviously it uh, obviously it will be easier for us to share our personal appliances with the other person. Basically, I said that it depends the what kind of relationship we are maintaining with the person. This is the end of our speaking. Thank you so much for your time.